Hello my friends, John LaRuva here with another unbiased unboxing. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the contents of the Root Hirelink box. Let's see what's inside this little guy. And as usual folks, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can keep building up my fan base. All right, so I like the uh, little box here. It's got nice fall colors, which is cool. The only problem is, is I have absolutely no idea what is inside of this box because there are no indications of the contents. I think that kind of sucks. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look what we get. All right. All sorts of cool things. Look at this. See this? All sorts of cool things inside here. They should have had some of that on the back, right? I know they went for the aesthetics, but the inside of the box looks great. Here we've got the landmarks pack. So what's inside here? Is they have <laughs> they tell you what's inside the landmarks pack over here. So you got that. Okay, so here we have some bags. We've got the four different landmarks. If I can open them up. Okay, we've got like this anvil. Um, I probably should read what they're called. So we've got the that would probably be the Legendary Forge. This is looking like the Black Market here. Then we've got the Elder Treetop. And finally, the Lost City. Okay, and it comes with a pack of cards, most likely telling you about how they actually work and such. It's um, I see that they have included something on the tower, which was a landmark from an earlier expansion, a couple of years ago now, as a matter of fact. All right, so I'm just opening this up. And yeah, these are the landmark rules. To tell you what to do, about the setup of them, and the treetop, and the Lost City, the Black Market, the Legendary Forge, the fairy, which was from an older one, and the tower. And these are nice, high-quality cards. Uh, even though it doesn't matter so much for setup cards, they do have a nice texture to them. Um, and uh, they're easy to see what they represent. Um, medium thickness on these. Okay, so that's that. Then we've got the hireling rules here. Look at this cute little book. Um, so very uh, small in stature here. Telling you about how to get all this stuff, hirelings. Okay. And then we have all the pieces here. So as you can see, the different types of hirelings. So, and I, I apologize, I don't remember exactly what some of these are. I mean, these are the mole people. Um, so it looks like you've got, here's some lizards. Here's some of the, this looks like one of the new ones, the maybe the Iron Fox or something. I'm not sure. These are some Pied Piper looking dudes. Red birds of sorts. And then this guy and those guys. Sorry, I just don't remember exactly what all this was. It was so long ago when I backed it. I do like the fact that they included bags for everything, which is good. So thank you. Here's some tiles. Nice size thickness there. And then here is the information, most likely about the hirelings. <clears throat> Open this up without bending the cards here. Okay, so we have double sided cards here. It kind of tells you about the flame bearers, rat smugglers. Vault Keepers, Badger Bodyguards, The Popular Band, Street Band, River, uh, River Folk Flotilla, the Otter Divers, Warm Sun Prophets, Lizard Envoys, Highway Bandits, Bandit Gangs, Sunward Expedition, Mole Artisans, COVID Spies, Raven sentries, 
and the Furious Pro Protector or the Stoic Protector. So there you go. Lots of stuff in this little box here. Hopefully you enjoyed taking a look at the contents. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And whatever you play in the future, I hope you have an awesome time doing it. Take it easy, everybody.